You fucking prick, man. What? 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 You, 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 you fucking bailed on me, man. No, I... I... I didn't bail on you. Of okay? course you did. You 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 were supposed to do something, and then you left instead of doing that. Doesn't that is one of the several definitions of bailing. Okay, if you if you said we were gonna burn our dicks off and I didn't do it, that's not bailing, because okay, that's self-preservation. It is bailing. If, if 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 you promised you were gonna burn your dick off, then that's bailing. Look, okay, the bottom line is you are a bailer. You bail. You just bailed on me. You you, you bailed on me this morning when Terry spat all over me, and you are bailing on me next year. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I, yes. finally, there it is. Great. It finally comes well, out. Well, we were supposed to go to college together, man, ever since we were kids. I mean, what the fuck happened to that? What happened to that is you're too stupid to get into the schools that I got into. I was not too stupid. I was too lazy, okay? okay. All right, whatever, man. You know, I mean, how self-centered can you be? Seriously, you, you were fine with letting Fogel take the fall back there. And I mean, you clearly don't want me to go to another school. So what the fuck, man? What do you, I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to let you slow me down anymore. What? I'm slowing you down. What are you talking about? You just, you, you've wasted all my time, you know? I mean, instead of spending the last three years chasing girls and making friends, I've spent them sitting around talking bullshit with you, you know? I mean, because of you, I'm going to college a fucking friendless virgin. I mean, you're just, you're not fucking up tonight, man. Not tonight, okay? If, if this was the last chance to, to do something that actually mattered with the one girl that actually matters, and I... I mean, if I bailed on you, it's just because you were fucking it up. Getting with the girl will not make you any less of a loser next year, Oh, okay? are you talking to me or are you talking to yourself, you fucking loser? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for you everywhere. Well, when am I anywhere else, second period? I don't know, Evan. I don't follow your moment-to-moment -moment whereabouts like your fucking life partner, Fogel, okay? okay? Just listen to me. Just listen, you know Jules? Yeah. You know what she just did? She came up to me and asked me if I would buy her alcohol. Not just her, her whole party, okay? Do you know what that means? It means that by some fucking divine miracle, we were paired up, we talked, and she actually fucking remembered me afterwards. She didn't forget about me. She we walked away for a few seconds and was like, that guy said, I like that guy. I'm gonna ask him to buy me alcohol for my whole party. She thought of me enough to decide that I was the guy she was going to trust with the whole funness of her entire party. She wants me. She wants my fucking dick in her. Okay, well, did you ever think maybe she doesn't want your dick in her and she's just using you to buy alcohol? Yes, of, of course I fucking thought of that. Of course I thought of that. Listen to me. Listen to this. She has an older brother, right? She grew up with this guy. Yeah. She's known him her whole life. They probably have a pretty good relationship with each other. Yeah. But she didn't ask him. She could have. He probably would. I don't know. She could have said, hey, Jim, my older brother, will you buy me some booze? Yeah. And he's probably a cool guy because she's pretty cool. Yeah. And he would have said yes. Yeah. But no. She went to me. She said, Seth, I want you to buy alcohol for my party. That's a, that doesn't happen every second of the day. Yeah. She looked me straight in the face and asked me. She wants to fuck me, man. She wants what I got, and I got a lot of it, okay? Do you understand that? Fucking. Today is a day that fucking actually becomes a possibility in my life. Well, Not just some crazy vision that I have way in the future. Today, I could have my dick inside somebody. Do you think you're actually going to have sex tonight? That's not going to happen, man. It's impossible. She's going to be at the party. Yeah. She's going to be drunk off her ass i've never been around that many drunk girls but from what i hear when they're drunk they love to fuck okay. it's like their favorite activity while drinking you know she likes me at least a little so i can get with her yeah then i make her my girlfriend and then i fuck her all night long all day long all summer long then by the time college rolls around i'm not in the minor leagues anymore i'm at fucking dodger stadium hidden out of the park Okay, well, you just, you, you make her your girlfriend. It's as simple as that. Uh, so, so what, our mind control helmet, is that done yet? I didn't know the prototype was ready to rock. It's fucking simple. Just yeah. listen to me. Okay. Once I've gotten with her, I write her love letters. I buy her flowers. I make her fucking mix CDs on iTunes. I rearrange her closet. I don't give a shit. I have no shame. I don't care. All I want to do is have sex. And not just because I want to have the physical act of sex. 
I want to be good at sex by the time I get to college. That way, I'm not some guy who can't get his shit together enough to give a girl an orgasm. Okay. I want to be the guy that's like, you want to get fucked? You call up Seth, he runs over there, he'll fuck the shit out of you. He'll make it real nice, and that's what I want. I just want to be known as that guy. I want to be a man. I will do anything. I will fucking prance around like Nathan Lane in her fucking apartment all day. I don't care. Okay. Well, it's not a bad plan. I have to be honest. It's not that bad. It's not bad. No, it's a good plan. It's the best plan any of us have ever thought of. And you haven't even heard the best part of it. I haven't. Helen. What? Helen. What about her? Evan, you do the same thing as me, okay? Ask Ellen you if you can buy her some alcohol. Then, tonight, when you guys are both drunk, you get with her, okay? You like her, you know you'll never have the guts to ask her out, and a party is the perfect place for that. Okay, let me put it to you simple. This is the last party we're ever going to with high school people. Okay. Right? What is, what, what, okay, when you hear, you see a movie, right? You yeah. see a movie. What do the people talk about their experience in high school? They, they talk about getting laid. Yeah. That's the thing. That's like the thing in high school. Everyone goes, my, you know, the first time I had sex, when I was in high school. Yeah. It's always followed by when I was in high school. Yeah. We don't want to be those guys who are the guys that can't finish that fucking sentence. Okay. You know so, what I'm saying? So you think I should get her alcohol? You think that's what I should do? Of course I think you should get her alcohol. Okay. It'll be pimp, and then you'll know she's all good because she'll be drunk. Have you even talked to Fogel? I mean, he's the one with the fake ID. Have you even talked to him? I don't enjoy talking to Fogel, but if you go find Helen, I will go find I will go find Fogel. Dude, if this works, we'll be riding in a college on a stream of pussy juice, on a wave. We'll be like fucking Kelly Slater doing rip curls through that wave of pussy juice. And I don't even know. I don't even know what pussy juice is. I never had sex. That's the whole point. I want to know what I'm dealing with. I could be allergic to pussy juice. I don't know. I've never tried it. And you haven't, but the fucking drought's over. The floodgates are opening. We're gonna need to build a dam to stop the pussy juice from overflowing onto us. You're right. That's graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's graphic. Where the fuck have you been? You almost gave me a heart attack. You have it? I got it, dude. Chill out. All right, man. It's flawless here, dude. Check it out. Look. <laughs> McLovin? Man, why did you... Why does it say McLovin on it? Well, they let you pick any name you want when you get down there. Okay. So you fucking settled on McLovin? That was your thought on that? Well, I mean, it's between that and Muhammad. What the fuck would it be between that and Muhammad? What the Actually, fuck? Just pick a normal name, Fogel. Actually, Seth... I know you wouldn't know this because you're, uh, stupid, but, um, <laughs> Muhammad is the most commonly used name on Earth. Well, actually, Fogo, um, I did fucking know that, but not in where we are right now. So in fucking Iran, it's the most common name, but not here. Mm -hmm. What the fuck, man? Listen, <laughs> Fogel, I mean, there are so many better names that you could have had than that, man. I don't know why you, why we needed this. Hey, McLovin will work. It's a name. I mean... It's a name. It's a name <laughs> of a fucking McDonald's character that fucking... Hey, has uh, purple horns or something uh, like that. I, I could pull it off. I mean, like, my name is Fogel, but I, I, I look like a McLovin, too. Uh, what the fuck does a McLovin look like? Do you, have you ever seen one before? No, but I can be McLovin. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I mean, it's just... There's not even a first name on this. This just says McLovin on it. Fuck. Well, I mean, I thought McLovin sounded old. And the chicks are dig it. Why would you... <laughs> would you show that thing to a chick? It doesn't make sense. No, I mean, they could ask, or I could just show it to her. This fucking thing says you're 25. Why don't you just put you were 21? Oh, I knew you were going to ask that. If you knew I was going to ask that, then why the fuck would you... <laughs> Well, it, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, man, but I just wanted to be 25. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. All right.
every day, dozens of kids roll into their liquor store with their fake IDs, trying to act all Joe casual, and each and every one of these kids just so happen to be 21. How many 21-year-olds do you think there are? Oh, well, you should have talked to us about this, obviously, man. It's my choice, man. I went to get the ID. You didn't do it. I guess we should. <laughs> Dude, at yeah, least if you put that you're 21, that looks closer to how old you are, That's as opposed to 25. You look like a fucking fetus. <laughs> hey, man. Fetuses are cool. <laughs> yeah, fetuses are fucking awesome. <laughs> They're so awesome we hang out with one. <laughs> all right, don't worry, man, all right? I don't want him to get upset. Like, you just need to get all, you know, we need to get excited about this. You're going to do this, okay? Yeah. It's not, I mean, it's a convincing ID, you know? It's, yeah, it looks, looks good, yeah. Right? Looks real. You just got to convince them that you're not some right, little, little right. teenager. You're 25-year-old. McLovin, that's McLovin. me, yeah. 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 <laughs> don't be a fucking idiot. Act old. Okay, okay, okay. Think about some old shit before you go in there. Yes. Of course, man. Old shit. Talk about how you were pissed when head of the class got canceled. Button-up jeans. All right, all right. Button-ups. Pretend you're wearing button-up jeans right now. Oh, okay. I'll, I can do that. With Jay-Z, huh? But Jay-Z's not McLovin. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah. All right, but um, can you can you guys uh, pick me up after work? Is that cool? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> how the fuck is my car? <laughs> Where, what the where, fuck? Why would you park in staff? Oh, what the fuck? They're the fucking assholes. How the fuck didn't you say something to me? I wasn't with you when you parked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but dude, you fucking saw from afar that I was parking there. You should have fucking said something. I didn't, I didn't think we were going to be that long, man. I didn't... You're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get the alcohol. Yeah. We're gonna, you're gonna be the hero. Even if you get it, I'm gonna still gonna beat the shit out of you. Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> Life's not fair. True. Just don't fuck up. <laughs> Alright, okay, I won't fuck that up. <laughs> I trust him, frankly. I mean. I don't trust shit. I don't trust shit in this world, and I definitely don't fucking trust Fogel. I'm starting to think I might not be able to trust you. You're the only person I have ever trusted. Why? Because you put him in charge of this shit. Yeah, but I. I didn't know he was gonna. I mean, we should have discussed this. Not that it's you know anything wrong with it. It's fine. It's it's gonna work. Yeah, it'll work. You're just thinking negatively right now. You, you always think negatively. You gotta just, think just let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Let me get the alcohol and we'll be good. I don't like you at all. <laughs> That's okay. I don't like you. Fuck <laughs> you. Hey, you don't like me? No. Yeah, Listen, right. this is business. Right? <laughs> yeah. I buy that. I buy it. Business. This is nothing but business. Fun. You two don't have to like each other. We're here for a job. Yeah, but we hang out in the same social circle. I know, I know. That's I like you. Cool. I was just kidding. I like you. I know you fucking <laughs> That doesn't change my thoughts at all. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs>